Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to plot a simple box plot in Excel 2010. So before we go about creating the box plot let's take a look at one that's already existing. Over here on my left hand side I've got some sales region data for four regions, the north, south, east and western regions, for the 12 months of the year from January down to December. These are fictitious sales figures, by the way. And over on the right-hand side, I've got a box plot, sometimes called a quartile plot, or a box and whisker, pl whisker plot, uh, to summarize my data. So each shows a box created for each of my four regions. Uh, each group has its own diagram, the height uh, of which represents the numerical range of the data. In other words, the maximum value up here at the top of the little line, and the minimum value down here at the bottom. The boxes, the green and purple in my case here, represent the 25th to the 75th percentile. And the horizontal line, that's the line between the green and the purple here, uh, this uh, represents the median value, which is also the 50th percentile. And this type of chart, a box plot chart, helps us to make a quick comparison amongst groups of data. So you can compare the four sales regions here graphically. Uh, this will look well in reports and presentations. So now let's see how we go about making that chart. So on my worksheet here, I've got the same sales figures as I've had before. Now Excel unfortunately does not have a tool to, that will automatically create a box plot, so we need to prepare our data and do some calculations before we can plot the, uh, the chart. And I've got two tables over here on the right-hand side, and in the first of these, I need to, for each of the four regions, calculate the minimum, the 25th percentile, the median, the 75th percentile, and the maximum values for each of the four regions. So let's quickly go about doing that. So in the northern region here, in cell J6, I'm going to type in the minimum formula for calculating the minimum uh, value, which is equals to min for min, opening bracket. And over here on my left-hand side, I'm going to, with my mouse, select all the data from cells B3 down to B14, in my case here, closing bracket, and press Enter. And that gives us the minimum value for that data range. The 25th percentile formula is as follows. Type in equals, the word percentile, opening bracket, and I'm going to select the same data range for the north as I did before. Use a comma, and as it's the 25th percentile, I need to enter a value of 0 0.25 here, closing bracket, and press Enter. The median formula is straightforward. Type in equals the word median, opening bracket, and the same data range as before, closing bracket, and press Enter. The 75th percentile is similar to the 25th percentile, so type in equals the word percentile, Select the northern data range again, closing bracket, sorry, comma, 0 0.75, and then the closing bracket, and press enter. And finally, the maximum formula is fairly straightforward, equals max, max, opening bracket, select the data range for the north, closing bracket, and press enter. So now I've got my five values for uh, each of the uh, fields that you see here. And I want to use Excel's autofill tool, so select all uh, uh, five formula here and copy those over to the south, east, and west, like I've done here. It saves me doing some uh, typing uh, and use the autofill tool to get there. Now, even though we've got these data ready, uh, we're not ready yet to draw the chart. Down here in the bottom, we need to prepare another table uh, for, for our data for our chart. And I want to prepare the data in series of rows. The first row is going to be quite simple. It's the minimum values across the top here. So let's, in, in the north series 1, just uh, enter the value, the cell reference J6, for the minimum value for the north, and press Enter. So you'll see in both tables the same value here. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier. In the series 2, what I need in this cell down here, it's J16, I need to subtract the minimum from the percent, 25th percentile. So that's, let's use cell referencing here. So type in equals. 25th percentile value here minus the minimum value and press enter. The next one in series 3 is the median value minus the 25th percentile. So type in equals the value for the north for the median minus the value for in the north for the 25th percentile and press enter. The next one, I hope you get the hang of this, it will be the 75th percentile minus the median. So type in equals the 75th percentile for the north minus the median for the north. J9 minus J8 in this case here, and press enter. And finally, in series number 5, I need the maximum value minus the 75th percentile. So again, straightforward enough, type in equals 
the max value for the north minus the 75th percentile for the north. And that gives me a range of data here. And as before, I'm going to select all these uh, data formula here, use the autofill tool to copy those formula over to the south, east, and western region. And it's this data over here that I'm going to use to draw my chart. So before we, we uh, actually select the chart to, to, to use, let's select the data that we want data range. And this is important. Select, in this case here, cell I14, uh, and all the data and headings for the first four series don't include series number five. We will be using that later. So we're only doing the headings for north, south, east, and west, plus series one to four and all the data. On the insert ribbon, go to the chart section, select the column type chart, and the one we need is a 2D column, stacked column. So let's just select that there. I'm just going to move this over to the left hand side and uh, make it a little bit bigger. Now this doesn't look anything like a box chart, so we need to modify this chart uh, to uh, get the end result. We can see our four regions listed across the bottom over here and our data presented in series. The first thing we need to do is uh, I'm going to hide series number one. So with the left mouse button, select the blue areas here, then right click, choose format data series, and the way to hide that is to choose fill and say no fill, choose border color and say no line, and then click closed. Now the data are still there, but if you click outside the graph, you'll see that they are now invisible, and that's what we needed to do. Next, let's go to series number two, which is the red ones in my example here. Left click to select, right click to choose format data series, and do the same again. For fill, choose no fill, and for border color, say no line, and click on closed. Now this time, leave series two selected. You can see the outline uh, selection tool here on those. And I need to make some changes to this now because we're going to turn this into the error bars that we saw on our earlier chart. Now, up in the top in Excel, a, a chart tools ribbons have appeared. We've got design, layout, and format. The one we need is the layout one. So select the layout ribbon. And we want to insert error bars. So that's there to be found in the analysis section over here. There is an error bars option here to add error bars to my chart. So select that. And in the drop down menu, choose more error bars options down at the bottom. And this, this gives us the format error bars windows. And for this one here, I need to choose the minus, so I'm going to select the minus option here at the top, and in the percentage field down at the bottom, uh, if not already there, type in 100, and click on closed. And you can now see that I've got my um, whiskers, if you like, uh, displaying the minimum values for each of my four uh, regions. Next, select series number four, so left mouse button, uh, to select that. Uh, then once again, the chart layout tools, we need go to go to the analysis section, choose error bars, select more error bars from the bottom here this time. This time we're going to use plus, the last one was minus, so we're going to select the plus option here. And down in the error amount, I'm going to uh, check on the custom button, and to specify the value, so select the specify value button, and here's where we use the series 5 data that I mentioned previously. So select the four values in the series 5 data for the four regions, then click on OK, click on Close, and we have our chart now finished. So we've got the maximum and minimum values in for each. We've got the 25th and 75 percentile and the median represented here, and we can compare our four regions graphically uh, as we had done beforehand. The last thing I'm going to do here is just delete this legend on the right hand side. It's not meaningful anymore, and we have now the completed uh, box plot that we set out with. So that's how you um, draw a box plot in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.